Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, so I want to come on here and talk about the whole salt and pepper and spinderella situation. So like we talked about on live stream a few weeks ago, I told you guys that I had been watching Ladies Night, and that's the new reality TV show on BT featuring salt, pepper, spinderella, and SWV, okay? What makes Ladies Night special? The ladies. Ladies. Where my ladies at? Where my ladies at? When you get two iconic groups together, when you keep doing stuff like that. We are in this together. Are you really ready to walk away from Soul Pepper? It's down to be drama. So at that point, I did like the show, but it definitely showed a lot of dysfunction in the Salt and Pepper group, okay? It was a lot of drama, a lot of fucking whining coming from damn Spinderella constantly. And then Salt and Pepper, they were kind of like the mean girls of the show. They kind of acted funny towards SWV at, at different parts. They definitely acted funny towards Spinderella. It was just a lot of conflict, constant conflict, okay? So I was not shocked when it came out later on that Spinderella not only got kicked out the group, but now she's suing Salt and Pepper. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess, honey. Let me go ahead and read to you guys what she's saying. Go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. So DJ Spinderella, who became inseparable from Salt and Pepper public identity as she helped to boost the all-female Salt and Pepper trio and brand to legendary iconic status worldwide fame, Roper, who first claimed she joined the group in 1987 at the age of 16, she alleges that she was cut out of deals as years went by, despite generating significant onstage excitement and entertainment. Audiences with her captivating musical grooves and remarkable DJ tracks. Specifically, Roper claims that she was unaware of the group's 1999 Best of Salt and Pepper album released amid their 90s hiatus. The compilation was released in Europe with Roper's image featured on the album cover, allegedly without consent. Instead, she says she received a call from Denton in 2001 about money from the album. Roper was suddenly informed in an unexpected phone call from Denton that James, 53, and Denton, 52, were holding a sum of $125,000 that would be paid to Roper. The documents claim no such payment of $125,000 were substantially made to Roper. She also claims in the lawsuit that she's being duped and only receiving minimal compensation for the pair's VH1 show, The Salt and Pepper Show. More recently, Roper alleges that she was fired from the group after accepting a deferred compensation agreement. On January 4th, 2019, within days after Roper accepted the deferred compensation arrangement, Roper received a written notice of termination by email, which therein purported to completely terminate Roper to completely terminate Roper's services following Roper's last performance with Salt and Pepper on December 3rd, 2018. Honey. All right, so this is a messy ass situation, but I gotta keep it real. Y'all may not like this, but y'all already know my smoky voice, honey. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Okay. First and foremost, these are grown women in their damn 50s, okay? I think Spinderella might be 47 or something like that. In the words of Maya Angelo, when folks show you who they truly are, when they show you their true character, Believe them the first damn time, okay? Spinderella, you left the group years ago, okay? You said they weren't treating you fairly. You weren't getting your money. We all watched the VH1 behind the music where Spinderella was whining and crying about not receiving money back then. So I was very shocked when I heard that Salt and Pepper were back together with Spinderella. I heard this a few years ago. I'm like, oh, damn, okay, well, maybe they resolved everything. She, they cut her check and everything else. So my thing is if these women treated you shady in the 90s, and in the 2000s, you were on, you know, VH1's Behind the Music saying they were shady and how you got cut out of the deal and how you didn't get, you know, X amount of dollars. Then why would you go begging back for your job? Why would you go back to them? That's what doesn't make any sense. She acts like somehow she's tied to them. At the end of the day, like Salt and Pepper said, she's an employee of Salt and Pepper. She really didn't write a verse. I know she was on What a Man. I don't know if she wrote that. But for the most part, the group is Salt and Pepper. They're the ones who run the group. It is their business. All she is is a DJ. Most DJs do not get a platform to do some of the stuff that she's been allowed to do. Most DJs, your job is to just DJ and that's it. You know, I think that there's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of animosity. Do I feel like salt and pepper are shady? In a way, yes. Because for y'all who don't know, because I just found this out recently because I was really young, there was another Spinderella. Okay, so this is not even the first Spinderella. 
And the first Spinderella that Salt and Pepper hired, they got rid of her too, and they also owed her money. Y'all go ahead and check out this interview right here. All right, so you worked on the first album, and as a matter right. of fact, I think we, we have a, a picture of the cover of the album that we're going to show everybody. Okay. Um, why just, there it is, right up there on the, oh, does that bring back old times? Oh, yes, that brings That's, back Now, what year was again. that? That was, um, oh, wow. That was what early, was that? not that early, 86. 80, okay, like mid 80s. 86, yeah. 86. Okay, all right. So, of course, I'm sure the first question on everybody's mind is, look where salt and pepper is now why didn't you stay with them you know well well there was you know well there were female ego problems you know it was a clash of personalities mm -hmm. really and um there were too many leaders and not enough followers that happens a lot <laughs> yeah it does yeah. With, with females yeah with very strong you know personality all right so you guys just heard from the original spinderella so it seems like this might be salt and pepper's motive where they just don't get along with other women outside of each other and there's always some type of friction or drama too many chiefs not enough indians and then it may be a situation where these djs they don't know how to you know stay in their position and just dj you know but watching the salt and pepper show with swv was sad because i did see the disconnect i did see how they basically was two against one how they kind of played her but i also felt like at the end of the day spinderella you're a grown woman why are you sitting around taking this abuse why are you sitting around allowing them to play you there was a scene where they were all supposed to meet up in the Bahamas. Everybody was there. Spinderella, SWV were there, but Salt and Pepper, they didn't come. They just didn't show up. Supposedly they were sick and they were going through some things. But this is your group member. Why would you not at least call your group member and let her know that, you know, well, we're not going to make it. Are you still going to go? Let them know this. Let them know that. There was no communication at all. Hey, Jimmy, what's up? And we're SWV right now. Hey, ladies. What's up, Jimmy? Ladies night. Where y'all is? What's poppin'? Where you at, Jimmy? So what had happened was... Oh, shit. You, wait, wait, hold on. When you hear that... So what had happened, yeah. Do I want to hear this right now? What had happened, what had happened was... The ladies are not gonna make it. You are lying. Wait, 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 wait. The ladies are not gonna make it today or they're not gonna make this trip at all? They're not gonna make the trip at all. This is some bullshit. So she was really hurt that she was basically left out there as a representation for Salt and Pepper. You know, so I did feel like they did disrespect her a lot on the show. They did talk down to her. But at the end of the day, people treat you how you allow them to treat you. So I have promos for the talk. How was it? Um, I, I didn't get to do that with them. Oh, you didn't? Mm -mm. Why? I just, you know what? It's the same stuff that we talk about, okay. you know? The purpose of us being there is to promote the show and to right. do that. That which you are a part of. Right. And then we have a performance attached to it. Right. So we're a three member group. Right. They didn't have a seat set for me during the actual conversation part. Mm -hmm. My thing is, do I really need to do it if you don't have a seat for me there? Tell me, what happens with you guys? There are three. How do you feel about this? I know this is what it is. Like, what I does didn't that expect mean? anything different? To well, be what honest. does that mean? I want us mm -hmm. to look in our peripheral yeah. when we make decisions. Sometimes we don't look at the people that are around us and how it affects them. When we do, it doesn't count. You don't look in your peripheral and you don't see the effort that is made on your behalf what was all the, the time. Was Not in that? this position. MTV Movie Awards. Mm -hmm. They didn't want you. They only wanted salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. We pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed, right? Mm -hmm. And when that came on TV, they cut you totally out because they told us from the beginning that they didn't want well, you. We went hard but we, we kept tried. pushing and we said, we're not doing it without her. For you to say we don't look in our peripheral mm -hmm. makes me feel like you don't look in your That's peripheral. That's why I want to know because you're when not looking in yours. When it comes to salt and pepper mm -hmm. and the hardness that we do go, I feel like you blame us. Like, there's something that we're not doing to fix that. Right. If you put that picture out there that mm -hmm. is just two, that's what people are gonna see. So how are we putting a picture out that is just two? My name is not in the group, so there's the first misconception. Because we were salt and pepper when we met you, right? Right, mm -hmm. then I came on board and things flourished. Things been flourishing. We was platinum from hot, cool, and vicious. I was doing the same stuff that you guys were doing. I was dancing with y'all. I was yeah. performing with y'all. Well, it was flourish already. You weren't on said, track from you, the you, beginning. You was not the first out, but you know yeah. the word flourish. I don't like flourish. Okay, what word would you like to use? I don't even know. You came aboard. I Go came ahead. aboard. That's it. 
<laughs> no, and then you can't say then things flourish. But that's what no, happens. You know why? You know why I, I, I'm gonna end this conversation okay. right now because I'm not gonna be able to honestly say what I really want to say because it's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be and if you're gonna allow these women to walk all over you and make you feel like you're an insignificant member of the group, then that's the type of energy that you're gonna receive from them. You know, so I just find it really funny that she didn't get money from them for this album back in the 90s, but she's just now suing about it in 2019. So at this point, I gotta give her the side eye as well. There's nobody innocent in this whole situation. They all played their role in the destruction of this relationship, of this friendship, and of this group agreement. So I don't feel bad for none of them, including Spinderella. You know, maybe she'll get some money, maybe she won't. But at the end of the day, she should have stood firm, sued them way back then, and then moved on and started her own career. Because at the end of the day, Salt and Pepper will be fine. They're the ones, people go to go see them for the most part. They're the lyricists. They're the ones who rap. They can just hire another DJ. It, you know what I'm saying? Spinderella is very replaceable, Salt and Pepper or not. And that's the difference. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Salt and Pepper, the whole ladies' night drama, and Spinderella coming out and suing Salt and Pepper for millions of dollars. Do you side with Spinderella? Do you side with Salt and Pepper? Or do you feel like all these women have issues? I don't feel bad for none of them. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. <laughs>